What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. Uh, this video is entitled Black Men Need Incentives. Brother, we want the brothers to rebuild a community, start a new community, and create businesses, infrastructure, uh, mend the black family. Um, Resuscitate black love. But we want to, they want the brothers to do that for nothing. And that's a hell of a task to ask of a particular group, of a particular generation, because, you know, it's like an all or nothing task. But it's an all or nothing task with no reward the way, you know, when you listen to people in the community talk about it. Um, just so the next generation doesn't have to do it, which that's an admirable thing. But you don't work for free. So stop expecting black men to work for free. You know, you gonna, you should do all this just because. I think, you know, it's kind of been overlooked that a lot of brothers have done the things, a lot of brothers in our past when we were younger were doing the things that people are asking to be done now. And it was met with a lot of contempt, disrespect, pushback. Uh, and now that all that disrespect, contempt, and pushback has basically equal to a failed community and now everybody like well okay well this time y'all gonna do it over and 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 this time you're gonna know you're not getting nothing out of it up front no i think brothers need incentives i mean i don't think it's gonna work without incentives i mean we want we want black businesses to rise without incentivizing these black businesses, without supporting these businesses. We want these businesses to be open for business, but we're not obligated to go patronize these businesses. That's a problem. That's a big, big problem because this is this, how we gonna build the community if you don't wanna go support the community. Because all you're going to do is say, well, it ain't like white folks. It ain't these folks. But, but so you really don't want it. You, you just want it to be on par with white folks to make you feel good. That's a problem. You know, the, the doors of black businesses should be uh, uh, overflowing. Especially when we see all of these um, news stories with, with people getting disrespected and bad service in these other establishments then you should go five miles out of your way ten minutes out of your way and go patronize a black business so you don't have to deal with that stuff and let those people be but come on now you want brothers to do it on the cheap for free with nothing in return that's that that sucks Black men need incentives. Um, when it comes to the black family, you want black men to rectify these families, whether it's their own children or, or you stepping into a fatherly role of children that, are, that aren't yours. You want these guys to lead the families, but you don't want to respect them. You want to treat them like crap. You want to undermine them. You want them to give you their blood, sweat, and tears and give them back a towel and say, get back to work. That's not going to work. You know, and, and when you ask, what are the incentives for these men to, um, to, to mend these families? People are like, just because. 
And that's a problem because the same people in our community that want black men to do all these things for our community and our families and our love and everything else, they have incentives for doing so. You know, they're going to get, they know the expectations of what, they, of what they're going to get from black men. You know, they have, if you don't meet these expectations, you're not doing your job. But when, when you reverse this and say, okay, what is in it for these guys? Everybody just throws their hands up like, you should just because you should. But you benefit, you're not benefiting just because, right? Or, or, or do you really think these guys are really like chattel slave labor? Like they just were born to do shit for everybody else and just fuck their life. Brothers need incentives. They need to get something out the deal. It's just like why guys are, are, are um, one of the reasons why guys don't get married as much. Because, you know, they don't feel like there's anything in it for them. You ladies want to be married. You want to be wives. You want to be protected. You want to be provided for. You want to be in a stable, comfortable situation. But when you ask, what are you going to, what is the incentive what does your husband get out of the deal if you want to be his wife? Y'all go blank. That's an issue. That's a problem. These, these men need incentives. Because when, it's, it's the fact that you go blank that's really the big deal. Because if you don't have an answer or, or expectation of yourself, then he knows he's in it on his own. Thus, when you're sitting there taking those vows, you know, for better or worse... He know that don't apply to him. You know, for richer or poor, he know that don't apply to him. Through sickness and health, he know that don't apply to him. To death do you part, he know that don't apply to him. He know the, the loyalty is only if he winning. Because it's an incentive, because you getting something out of him winning. If he losing, you out. See, black men need incentives, you know. Um, that's the same thing, you know, with black love, you know, it's like a sin For, forget, you know, submission used to be a, 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 a evil word, but catering, caring about nurturing, loving your man is even worse, even worse. Yeah, I'm tripping right now, but it is, it's bad. Um, because it's like, uh, I, I had sex with him. That's all he needs. Then there's no incentive for him to do anything because all because basically every payment, everything you're going to do for him is centered around sex. If you give him sex, you know, you did everything you could. You, you Other than that, you know, what else is he supposed to get? Uh, which creates more and more of a problem because what you're seeing is these guys are going rogue because... Because they're being selfish, because they're about themselves, because nobody else is going to be concerned about our well-being. You know, you want our blood, sweat, and tears for nothing. Nothing. Like, just we just supposed to give them to you and get nothing in return. That's cold, man. Um, and on top of all of that, Even, we've seen scenarios, even if the guys do, you know, do, do good enough to build in great ways for you, right? Mm. If the guys put you in a good position, you can't even give him incentives off the money he gave you. Like he can't even get a he can't get a, a a good Christmas gift if he get if you gave you if he if he gave you a great lifestyle during the year. You know, this is the old Father's Day joke. You want fathers to be in home and fathers to take care, keep the lights on, keep the bills paid, keep the cars up, you know, keep the kids happy, keep the wife happy. And what does he get for Father's Day? A five ninety nine tie. That ain't a color that he like. 
and it don't go with a suit, he got to get his own goddamn suit. And he ain't going nowhere because they ain't, they ain't got him a ticket to go to a comedy show, a concert. Hell, they couldn't, they wouldn't even watch Netflix with him. You know, this is a problem. Like, until there's a code of incentives, we're going to have this problem. Because what's going to happen is, I, I believe this, some of the brothers want to build, protect, and provide anyways. But I'm going to tell you, at the end of the day, a lot of you people that want to show up after it's all over and done, y'all won't be welcome. Because they know you just showing up, you know, to mooch. You know, you, you, you didn't care when it was getting built. You didn't care when it was getting... When it was getting maintained, but when it started looking good and you felt like it was money there, oh, I'm going to show up. We are all together. No, we not. No, we not. You know, the same thing LeBron James said when he was first started in the league. He was like, look, man, all my friends that's rocking, that was rocking with me before I was rich, I'm rocking with them. Everybody else, I don't know. you. If I ain't know you then, I don't know you not. And because brothers don't have incentives, that's what's going to happen. You're going to see more and more brothers become successful and do big things. But they're gonna they're gonna be shut off from certain people because they were they, they, every, they just wanted to hop on the bandwagon and people don't want that. That's just my opinion on this one. We out. Peace.